guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Tampa Honda, and guess what? We have the newly refreshed Honda CRV. This one is the top level of the Turing trim. But let's talk a little bit about the CRV. The CRV, believe it or not, is a compact crossover SUV. That's the category that it's in. It's going to go up against that Mazda CX-5, vehicles like the Toyota RAV4. It really is a hotly contested category overall when it comes to crossover SUVs. And for 2020, there's some slight refreshing that's been done. And stay tuned to Rady's Rise because come spring, we're going to have the first ever CRV hybrid version. CRV has been around since 1997, has been a number one seller for Honda for so many years. Some people were saying, hey, it's getting a little bland. You know what? In 2017, they came out with this overall design and this refresh kind of takes it a little bit higher to the next level. But why don't we go ahead, dive into this 2020 Honda CRV Turing. Right off the bat, I like black on this vehicle because it really kind of does some great things with the lines and the overall style. You can see we have the LED headlights, daytime running lamps, nicely integrated. They kind of wrap all the way around. I like the way the chrome trim integrates actually into the housing and matches the chrome trim that's already inside the housing. That's smart styling. We come down, nice flat black. The reason why I say nice flat black, this is going to take a better beating over time as you're using this for those long, you know, cross country uh, trips. Chrome trim starts in the corner, drops down. You have fog lamps down below. Little bit of fake venting here, which I am going to zonk. They should have just kept that smooth. I don't know why they got to make things look like fake vents. But overall, this lower corner, this is all refresh. This, this whole thing, refresh design. Now, as we come across the open area, the previous generation to this one really looked kind of refrigerator-ish. I think they did a better job with this design and with the refresh and the black really kind of makes it look hip and cool. I like the chrome trim, the way it goes from one side to the other. Very nicely done. The chrome Honda emblem, we drop down. If you're wondering, well, what's this flat black plate here? That's where you're going to have some of that Honda sensing technology, lane keep assist, pedestrian uh, alert, all that good stuff. We drop down the silver chrome. Very nicely done. If you notice, it's got a two-tone finish to it. So you have the black and then you have this painted silver area. Flat black along this lower lip spoiler extension. Really cleans up the look. And I, I'm telling you, I think black, I wouldn't buy a black car, but this really looks, the color fits this vehicle. Now, as we go up under the hood, you have some body lines that kind of angle towards the windshield. I do like the high peaks on the corners of the hood. The reason why is when you're behind the wheel, it gives you some great visual reference points as you're trying to park it in a garage or a tight space that might be in your neighborhood. Now, the flat black goes all the way around the fender. This to me is a zonk on the touring trim. It should be body matched to this color. I think it would look a lot cleaner and even more upscale. All new wheel design for 2020, so you have your uh, silver gunmetal gray with the machined edges. Very nice touch. If you're wondering, well, what is the size of this wheel? This is a 19 inch wheel. And I think that with the gray fits the black to a T. As we go down the fender on the CRVs, you can see how the fender kind of flares out on this top midsection. We keep working our way down. Gloss black mirror caps matches the body. It's always going to be body matching color on this Turing trim. LED lights, really slim. I like the flat black that runs along the bottom. And then you have a little bit of shiny chrome on top and bottom of the door frames, of the window frames. Touring trim, you're going to get this silver low uh, roof rail, which of course you can get crossbars. And then also, I think that the chrome on the side here ties on what's going on in the front. And you'll see when we get to the tail end of the business, it makes it a more cohesive package. Flat black, gonna take that beating. Look at how the bottom portion kind of flares out a little bit, just to give a little bit more style. That's These SUVs, these compact crossover SUVs can get lost. There's like a sea of them. This, their Honda's doing what they can to really stand out. We keep working our way back. I do like the size of the rear quarter window on these CRVs, lets a lot of natural light in. Also the extension of the trim gives it a nice look. And then they did a great job on the back. They actually smoked out the taillight section a little bit. 
Really like that LED design. You know you're behind a CRV for sure. That chrome trim, like I was telling you, from front to the side of the back, we dropped down, they brought that silver and then flat black along the bumper. I always think it's super smart when they do this because you know your kids, they're not gonna lift out the groceries. They're just gonna drag them out. This will take a better beating and then you actually have stylus, stylish exhaust that are kind of tucked up under underneath, but actually have a nice clean look. So that's a good sign. But why don't we go ahead and pop the hood and see what's powering this CRV. All right guys, we got the hood popped. There is a prop rod, so we're gonna zonk that. What's interesting is that if you hate making choices about which engine to get on the new 2020 CRV, you get the same engine, same transmission across the board. So what that means is a 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine, 190 horsepower, 179 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it through a CVT transmission, zero to 60 in about 7.5 seconds. It weighs around 3,397 pounds. The great news though, MPG return, 28 in the city, 34 in the highway. And if you're wanting to tow with a CRV, you could tow up to 1,500 pounds. What is nice underneath the hood is that there's not a lot of plastic covers, which is great. You could clearly see where the turbocharger is. You can see in the back area, there's a lot of room near the firewall. Um, the amount of space underneath the hood is gonna make this more serviceable for when uh, you do need to get certain things done or if you have a problem down the road. But while we go ahead, let's check out the interior and see is the CRV a winner inside. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Honda CRV Turing level trim. This is fully loaded. We talked about some changes for 2020 on the outside. On the inside, it's very, very small. I know you want me to get to the probably the most important part for you, pricing. What is the price of this CRV Touring? MSRP, the way it sits, is around $34,500. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, I'm liking what Honda did with the door panels. They have that wood trim. I like the light gray uh, leatherette material on the back portion of the door, on the armrest, and the stitching looks very tasteful. It does break up what could be a very boring door panel. Also, that lower pocket, even though it's small, it's got plenty of room for uh, some drinks. You could put a bag of Lay's chips down there, maybe even stack up some Twinkies down in that corner area. Now, this one does have the optional 330-watt speaker system uh, in this particular one. It would be nice if they had some brushed aluminum over the speaker cover, kind of bring it up a little bit. But it's a nine-speaker system, it's supposed to sound good. Nice touches, soft on the dash, a little bit of gloss black. You can see the simulated stitching, that wood grain actually really brings in some extra flavor in here, which is definitely needed inside the CRV. I like the way they've done the AC vents, a little bit of silver trim. Here's a zong for me. They should have updated this infotainment system. It's still a seven inch screen, which that is the zong portion. You see all this dead space? That's all dead space. So you can touch it, but it doesn't do anything. This though obviously is a touch screen. You do get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation. It is very easy to use. And the glare is like non-existent on the screen. I just, I wanna kind of stretch it out a little bit. It's almost like somebody put it in the dryer and it shrank. You do have climate controls that look at this. You could actually do on the screen or you could actually use your buttons. So one or the other, you have your dual climate of course, very easy to use. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a zonk. I should have heated seats in a $34,000 compact SUV. You have your economy button, your electric e-brake. This is gonna control that CVT. It's funny, when I first saw this on my first CRV I ever was in, I was like, that's the ugliest looking setup. It kind of makes sense now. Honda really kind of organizes the area so smartly in a different way than Toyota or Mazda or the other brands. Here's what's new for 2020. They, re, they moved where the USB uh, ports are, nice and easy to get to. You do have wireless charging. My only complaint on this is that it, I feel like it sits a little too high where is it possible your phone could slide out? I don't know, we might have to test that. Two cup holders, here is your standard issue Honda key fob. You do have remote start with the buttons on the back. Like I said, Honda does great things with, with their packaging. You can see the wood grain. This is like a little sliding party tray. So you could actually take your M&Ms, pour them on here, and have like a little party dish. And then if you eat too much, you kind of just slide it out of the way. The good news is you have a nice 12 volt in there. And then you could actually stockpile bags of M&Ms in that lower section, which is really great. 
Armrest is soft as a baby's butt. I wish they would put this armrest in some of their other Honda products. This is wonderful, that light gray. You pull it up, there's some extra room in there. Lace chips, one, two, three, easy to get to. And then the seats, they look great. I love the style. The gray material looks very tasteful. Perforated center. Of course, you're gonna get power assist on the passenger and the driver's side. I mean, this is the Touring trim. Another zonk is you do get an auto dimming mirror, but it's not frameless. What's going on with this? This looks like it's back from 2005. So I would like a frameless auto dimming mirror. And then you have a standard sunroof, which okay, at this price point, it'd be nice if it was panoramic, but it'll do. Why don't you come on over though to the business side? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this CRV. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your memory settings, easy to get to right on the door panel, which is great. Seat comfort is really, really nice in these CRVs. The thing I like is that you do get lower lumbar, which you don't always get in the different Honda models, depending on what you're buying. Steering wheel has a nice thickness. I like the stitch work. It almost looks like a baseball inside. A little bit of gloss black kind of looks on the cheaper side, so I'm gonna zonk that. It is heated, and then you have these Game Boy style buttons, which are not my favorite. Um, I zonk those every time, but I do like the setup of the dash. It's easy to read, easy to understand. You could toggle through a plethora of different information there. Really nice to see when you need to get your maintenance done, all that good stuff. Even the hood for it has the nice soft material over everything. You have your coolant gauge and your fuel gauge. Of course, it's a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, but plenty of room in here. Let's check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like the CRV. All right, guys, we're in the back seat of the CRV. This is really where they hit a home run. The amount of room back here is ridiculous in a good way. It's like I could swim through the space. I like the way the leather's all the way around the back. Parents are probably not gonna love this because your kids are gonna be eating chocolate and getting fingerprints all over it. Just clean it, it's not that big of a deal. Two uh, AC vents, and then here's the wonderful news. Not one, but two USBs back here for your kids, for whoever's back here to keep their stuff charged. But I like the overall feel, the softness of the material. Armrest has a great softness to it, and I'm glad that I'm not gonna zonk this because they made the armrest large enough to where there's still plenty of real estate for my arm and you could put your drinks in there. But let's go ahead and check out the cargo area and see how much room you have in a CRV. All right guys, time to check out the cargo area. Of course on the Touring you get the leather, you're gonna get an electric assist. It's a little on the slow side as you can see, but once it opens up, lots of great usable space. Let me flip this up out of the way. This floor is actually two levels, so you could actually adjust the height of the floor. With the seats up, it is a class leading 39.2 cubic feet of space. You fold those seats down, 75.8 cubic feet of space. That's what this CRV is all about. You have your subwoofer located back here. What's nice is, is you just pull on these handles and then down the seats go. So I'll pull on the other one here. Hopefully the front seat, look at that. Boom, that's a ton of room back here. My only zonk is gonna be, are you kidding me? There's no power supply. If I take the kids to the beach, or you take the kids to the beach, because I don't have any kids, but if you take your kids to the beach and they want all those inflatable rafts blown up and you gotta use your lungs, I hope you're ready to huff and puff. It would be nice to have a 12 volt, you could bring an electric air pump and get those things done and the kids out of your hair. Let's see what's underneath here, shall we? spare tires so you're not going to just get a fix a flat kit and a ac compressor you get a spare put that back down nicely done if you're ready i'm definitely ready you push the button down she goes let's take this crv for a spin all right guys we're leaving tampa honda we're in the 2020 crv touring on throttle so obviously you're going to have simulated gears even though the CVT does not have any gears, that's gonna help with the overall driving experience, but you still get that very loud drone when on full throttle. Now I know I've seen in the comment section about uh, people saying that, hey, well, if you're driving this, you're not gonna be at full throttle all the time. That is true, but I like to point that out for people to realize and understand that when you do get on full throttle, it is gonna have a constant RPM that it is held at. The wonderful thing though about driving this CRV is that it really is super comfortable and very smooth. I'm, I'm surprised because some of the other Honda models, you, there's, 
the opportunity to not get the seat perfect, these seats feel great. I really like the lower lumbar support and the leather material that they have in here is nice and soft. Really great on the dash, the soft material. Visibility, just like any other CRV before this, uh, of this current generation, the visibility is great and very quiet inside, I've noticed as we've been driving it. All right, guys, as we're driving, I think the one thing I always wanna point out is that no matter what Honda you get, great feedback and overall feel behind the wheel. It's got a nice weight to it, doesn't feel too heavy, not too light, and really the ride quality in the CRV is excellent. Visibility out the back, piece of cake. You have nice size uh, side mirrors, which makes it easy to you know change lanes and see who's next to you. And then of course you're gonna get, like I said earlier, all the safety features, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, uh, emergency braking, all those things to keep you uh, safe so that you arrive alive. My only zonk I'm gonna stick with for sure is gonna be the navigation system and the infotainment screen. It's on the smaller side. I do like the graphics and it's clear to read and understand and it tells you where there's uh, gas stations and banks and everything else, but it's just on the smaller side, very surprising in a vehicle in this price point. If you are hating where the shifter position is, like I once did, you'll get it. Once you get into this vehicle and really spend some time behind the wheel, all the inner bits work really, really well um, overall with getting into storage areas, getting to your Twinkies, getting to your snacks, getting your phone charged. It's that simple, especially with the way they moved the USB uh, jacks. On throttle. So with the simulated gears, um, it, it sort of feels like a regular traditional automatic transmission, but once you get out of throttle and the revs just drop, uh, you definitely remember that you're in a CVT uh, vehicle, but still, like I said, smooth ride, great versatility with the amount of space that you have. Um, and I think that this is something that, you know what, if you if you need the room, it, the vehicle's not too large, uh, but it's also not tiny and it's just well thought out and engineered. That's probably the best part of this, uh, of this CRV. Wish it had ventilated seats at $34,000. Um, but definitely feels upscale in here with the touches that they have in the Turing trim. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the CRV is about. We're going to go ahead and get back to Tampa Honda and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at Tampa Honda. What can we say about the 2020 CRV? It definitely aligns itself as a prime competitor against that CX-5 against definitely the Toyota RAV4. Should this be the one you get, you need to get your butt down here and drive one of these and see how much you will enjoy it over your journeys. But if it's vehicles like these you wanna keep seeing on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. I definitely gotta thank Sam and the rest of the crew here at Tampa Honda getting us a 2020 CRV together like this Turing trim. If you are new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He's making the sun shine even though the sun is not shining right now. So thank you, Tom, for bringing the rays into everybody's life. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.